essa parte. So, at node 3. Ayan yung node 3 natin. Entering. Entering muna tayo, which is ay sub 1. Okay, tapos, ano pa yung entering? Plus i sub 2. Ayan yung entering. And then, minus, ito, 2i sub x equals 0. Ulitin ko ha. Entering i2, i1, tapos minus i sub x, 2i sub x. What is i sub 1? Again, i sub 1 is from v1 to v3 over 4. v1 minus v3 over 4. And then, ano yung i sub 2? From v sub 2 minus v sub 3 over 8. Ito siya. V2, V3 over 8. And then minus 2. What is I sub X? Yung I sub X dependent siya dito. So, V1 minus V2 over 2. Kung ano yung I sub X dito? Ito sa part na to. So, V1 minus V2 over 2. So, it's equate to 0. So, nang gagawin natin, multiply natin yan by 8. Ulit. Para i-simplify. Tapos, nanggalin na natin ng parenthesis. So, 8. So, 8 over 4, 2. So, 2 B sub 1 minus 2 B sub 3. So, 8 over 8, 1. So, tanggalin na yung parenthesis plus B sub 2 minus B sub 3. Negative 2 over 2. So, cancel out na rin to. Okay, cancel out na to. Ayan na, pwede mo na tanggalin yan. So, 8 na ang matitira dyan. Negative times positive, so negative, so times 8, 8 V sub 1. Tapos negative, negative, positive, 8 V sub 2 equals 0. And you simplify, combine like terms. Si V sub 1, ito yung kaparis niya. So 2 minus 8, so negative, 6 V sub 1. V sub 2, positive, V sub 1 plus 8 V sub 2, so that is 9 V sub 2. And then, si 3 naman is negative 2 minus 1 V sub 3. So, negative 3 V sub 3 equals 0. Uh, pwede pa namang ibabaan para malilate yung mga number natin. Divide natin ito by, kung ayaw nyo nang iliitan yan, okay lang. Pero, divide natin yan by 3. Para mas maliit yung mga number natin. Negative 3. Uh, I mean, 6 divided by 3, negative 2, plus 3, 9 divided by 3 is 3, minus V sub 3. So, this is our equation 3. And then, from this simultaneous equation, create na tayo ng matrix natin. Okay, tandaan na lang natin sila. Ilanite na lang natin sila. Ano yung ano natin? So, we have sila natin sa kabila. 3, 4, and negative 2. 3, 4, negative 2. So, 3, 4, negative 2. Ano pa? Negative 2 Negative 2, negative 7, and 3. Negative 2, negative 7, and 2. Negative 2, negative 7, and 3. Negative 2, negative 7, and 3. And then, negative 1, 1, and negative 1. So, negative 1, 1, and 1. Gitna lang yung negative. Tapos yung dulo, 12, 0, 0. Okay. So, gitna lang yung negative. Ay, gitna lang yung positive. 1, 1, negative 1. B1, B2, B3. Tapos, 12 yung dulo. 0, 0. Ayan. So, yun na yung ating matrix. Pwede na tayo mag-Kramer's rule. Kapag 3 by 3 kasi madali yung Kramer's rule. So, apply. Kramer's rule. You can use your calculator para makuha yung B sub 1, B sub 2. And this is 3. Mas mabilis kasi. V1 is D1 over D. V sub 2 
is d sub 2 over d and d sub 3 is d sub 3 over d. Ayan. So, using our calculator, ang makukuha natin d sub d is, so input mo lang yan and then palitan mo lang. Kapag d1, palitan itong first column ng 12, 0, 0. Kapag d sub 2, palitan yung second column ng 12, 0, 0. And d sub 3, palitan yung third column ng 12, 0, 0. So, d sub d natin is 10. D sub 1 natin ay 48. And then D sub 2 is 24. And D sub 3 is negative 24. So our V sub 1 is, ano yung D1 natin? 48 over 10. That is 4.8 volts. Ang V sub 2 natin ay 24 over 10. So that is 2.5 volts. And then V sub 3 natin ay negative 24 over 10. That is negative 2.4 volts. So, ito na yung ating mga answer. Ngayon, if there are or pinapahanap yung mga branch current natin, substitute nyo lang yung ating mga given load voltages. Ngayon, kayo naman. So, ito yung ating sit work sa araw na to. Sit work number 1. So, you have to find yung mga unknowns natin dito sa ating circuit using nodal analysis with current sources. So, yung number one, current sources to. And then yung number two, current sources. Galing